Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, with not one, but two items. Two items. Um, these are, one is a an eBay purchase from an item that I was not able to get on its original order because it was a Target exclusive, and everybody knows if it's a Target exclusive and it's very popular, it is not gonna be able to get purchased unless you do it on the secondary market. Sorry, but not sorry, that is the truth. So. Um, so what we got here is an eBay purchase of a cool figure that I really think is, uh, you know, exciting that they made. Uh, it's it's a repack, it's a repaint, okay. But um, and um, sad to say, it's uh, this one didn't come back. It's a little bit slightly dented in the in the figure itself, but. Not too bad. So, what do we got here? Well, we got a Boba Fett figure. And of course we have a Boba Fett figure. We have tons of Boba Fett figures. But we have a slightly different Boba Fett figure than what we normally have. This one is, in fact, painted in the, abs in the same exact paint scheme as the original Boba Fett action figure that first came out. Which I don't have one immediately in front of me, which I can't compare. So, I'll try to set one up here to do a comparison and you can see okay but such a cool figure this is vc275 okay um i'm kind of excited about it now i thought it was a target exclusive but this doesn't look like an exclusive i thought the target exclusives had like that silvery shimmery thing so this might not actually be a target exclusive so this may actually i i ordered it on ebay and there's a chance that it will come in the mail um, on a pre-order. But I looked through all my pre-orders and I did not find it. Of course, in a future episode, you might see this one kind of appear. So, hey, I'm not perfect with that. I do the best I can with it. So, anyway, but look at that. I love, now, granted, I know, I know, haters gonna hate. There are a lot of people that are like, yeah, it's just another repack, repaint. Why the repaint? I got, I got. Yes, it's a repaint. I know it's a repaint. And I'm not one, and I don't like constant repaints. I, if, but certain repaints, I'm okay with, okay? And I've been enjoying the Boba Fett repaints. I've been enjoying the ones that look like the ones that are the, the concept one, which was all white. I like the ones that the paint scheme was like the holiday special, first edition, first appearance of Boba Fett. I even like that they've tried to do some Boba Fetts that, are, that match the appearance of the first time way anybody ever saw Boba Fett, which was in a parade in California before Empire Strikes Back even came out. So I get it. Okay, they, you know, it's cheaper for them to do this, use the same mold and do the repaints. And again, if you really want to um, better understand why the toy industry does what it does, there's a channel that I would highly recommend you, you watch. Um, and that is, um, yeah, of course, the name of it is Escaping Me. Um, it's the Toy Guru is the, um, um, oh, Spectre Creative. That's what it is, Spectre Creative. And it's a, a gentleman who, uh, who runs the channel and worked for... Um, Mattel and has worked for different companies and he did he worked on the Jack Pacific um, the big figures for Star Wars so he understands toy design and toy marketing and that kind of thing and he does present and always present the you know the company's reason why companies do the things that they do that sometimes upsets collectors not he's not being an apologist or defend defending them really he has no you know vested interest in it he just you know explains the reasoning behind it so you have people better understand why. But um, I, for one, am really excited about the repaints of Boba Fett. Now, does that mean I would get... Look, as far as I'm concerned, no one should talk. I mean, anybody complains about all the re repaints of Boba Fett, try being a Batman fan. Yeah. Try being someone who collects Batman figures. Do you know how many different Batman figures have come out? And, and I'm not just talking about the ones that you've seen in cartoons and movies. I'm talking about all the Batman action figures that have come out. I'm not a Batman collector. That one to me is the most ridiculous thing because Batman is by far the most, you know, they, they, had, they had under the sea Batman, in the space Batman. I mean, every kind of Batman, Batman with every color cowl and every color cape. I mean, it was crazy. So, you know, Star Wars fans got nothing on Batman fans. So when it comes to collecting figures, but, but this is the Boba Fett paint scheme, very much like the original Boba Fett using the Star Wars racing stripe, A New Hope, before A New Hope was A New Hope, um, uh, card art. Okay, and it's really good. VC 275. And again, I don't think, I thought this was the, I, I purchased the deluxe version. I really don't care about what, I just wanted this figure. So if this is the deluxe version, great. But um, I don't think it is. I think this is just a, um, if it is a deluxe figure, 
it's, I don't, it, or not a deluxe figure, an exclusive. I can't believe it's an exclusive because they really kind of, VC275, that means that it's part of the regular line. Um, so um, if, it's, if it's only, maybe it was released early or pre-orders were only through Target and it's coming out elsewhere, who knows. But anyway, um, excited to have this in the collection and I don't think I've ordered it more than once. If I did, I'm going to keep it and do a loose and do a true unboxing. So, and next we have a larger item, but it's very light. So I don't know if this is just, you know, sometimes, it, oh, this is Entertainment Earth, by the way. Um, I sometimes think Entertainment Earth likes to do their thing where they just pack stuff in whatever box they need to. This is, this is just one figure. <laughs> okay. Well, we have once again found a Bib Fortuna. Uh, this is a Bib Fortuna Return of the Jedi carded action figure. So this is to obviously to celebrate the 40th anniversary of um, Return of the Jedi. Again, saw it in the movies. Saw it in the movies a few weeks ago. It's fantastic in the movies. It's so great to do that. Lucasfilm, please keep doing that. Please keep celebrating, you know, milestone releases and, and not just of the original trilogy. Do it with the prequels. Do it with the sequels. Uh, just going to see the movies in the movie theater is such a, it's such a great experience. And, you know, it's funny, um, not to digress, but I will. Um, you know, COVID has, in fact, or maybe we're not allowed to say COVID, I don't know. Uh, the the pandemic has, in fact, um, really done a, done a number on going to the movies. That's been something that for years people just didn't go. And even when thing, you know restrictions were lifted, getting into the movie theater was hard. Now, couple that with the fact that in my particular hometown, I don't have a movie theater. I have to drive to the town next door, which is not terribly far. It's like 25 minutes to the nearest theater. That's not horrible. But you know, considering that I used to have a theater that was five minutes and then eventually that closed and uh, I'd have to constantly go to another theater. Um, getting out to the theater is tough, all right? And, and because of that, it makes it, and when you, you know, you spend money on concessions and everything else and buy the tickets, you're sitting there, you're kind of scratching your head like, well, you know, I could go just watch it in my home in like three months, you know, in some places, you know, and then, and then, you know, the movie, you stopped having the choice to go to the movies and all these movie companies had to figure out something that they could do. So they released the movies, you know, on, on streaming and, and now, you know, it's just part of our normal subscriptions, especially in the Disney plus area, you know, we're watching movies from Disney and Pixar and Marvel and Star Wars and they're, and they're, you know, they're coming out right away and this, particularly Marvel. Um, they had a bunch you know, because they released a ton of movies and they uh, had to release a few movies that were just, you know, maybe in the theater and online, which is never good for the theater release. Um, but I still enjoy going to movies. I still enjoy making that experience. But it's hard, man. You, you sit there and you, you, you know, staring at the film. You know, do I watch the film it's, I can, that I can just stream right now for not for free, but, you know, it's part of my streaming service. Or do I go to the theater and watch it there? And because the theater's far away and because we've gotten so used to not going to the theater, you know, we have kind of skipped a few of those Marvel movies. I used to never miss a Marvel movie in the theater. But the last couple, um, I can tell you flat out, um, Ant-Man, Quantumania, never got into the theater. Um, the one before that, uh, there was an, oh, uh, Thor. Thor Love and Thunder, never got in the theater. So, you know, now it's kind of like, okay, you know, uh, Guardians just came out, Guardians Volume 3, and I want to see it, and I might plan, I'm trying to plan a time to go see it this week, it's been out for two weeks, so I hope to get into the theater this week to see it. Uh, I really don't want to give up on going to the theater, but, you know, it's not always easy. So to go back and do a, see a 40-year-old film, you know, maybe it's gambling on a sure thing, we knew we were going to like it, so. And part of the reason was for this guy, for Bib Fortuna, which comes with, what did he come with? Looks like he's got two glasses and a communicator? I don't even know. Or maybe it's another glass. Oh, no. Three glasses. Three cups. Kind of an odd thing to put Bib Fortuna in. Now, I can't remember if I have a Bib Fortuna figure, but I don't want to unbox this one because I like the Return of the Jedi art. Sorry. But I haven't. 
I'm not collecting all of these. As uh, you can see, that there's a few of them on here. There's um, Wick, or sorry, Poplu, Stormtrooper, Chewbacca. I think I only ordered Bib Fortuna and Poplu because I don't think I've had them in the past on Black Series. Okay, and again, I am being a little bit more stingy with my Black Series figures. I do not order them as much as I used to. So, um, and that's you know, again, I am thinning out my collection. I'm actually, I might dare I say. Um, and you know, right, and a few episodes ago, I talked about I'm selling off more of my collection in a yard sale coming up at the end of June. All right, and I'll put information out there. But um, this might be the year that more stuff goes out than actually came in. All right, and uh, that's kind of going to be the way of the future, just because. And, and again, it's not that I don't like Star Wars anymore. I love Star Wars. I adore Star Wars, and I will always have some level of collection. I just am getting to the point where. You know, maybe it's my age. Maybe I've looked around. Maybe I've had life experiences happen. I've talked about that on previous episodes. I do still love collecting. I do still love when these figures come in and I get the unboxing. But I'm not going to have the connection to this the same way that I have with older toys. Um, I'm not going to have that same level of connection. But it comes pretty darn close with the whole racing stripe. The same picture art. The Return of the Jedi logo, which I've always my favorite logo. Return of the Jedi was my favorite movie. For, for, for many many years you know of the, of the original trilogy so and i love this character too so um real happy to have this real happy to have it in collection i have a whole series of of four of uh different carded black series figures like this that i hang up over here and this will be fondly added to it so thank you so much for watching be sure to like subscribe hit the notification button check me out on instagram and twitter check out all the other content on red five until next time may the force and the choice and the and the choice may the force and the toys be with you Nawanawanga.